You know, a great steak is still a very special treat for me. I love steak and the meat is so great in America. This is my friend David Chalek. He's a chef, he's an author. And more than all, <laughs> he had a steak house, so you know about steak. Oh yeah, wonderful. This is a beautiful steak, shock. How did Thank you get you. these grill marks so perfect? Well, I was taught this way. There are two ends to a New York strip steak. The hand toward the saddle, which is toward the back of the animal, and the other hand toward the shoulder, which has more fat, toward the rib. Cut two one-inch steak from the hand toward the loin. Trim off any fat, seasoned with salt and freshly ground black pepper, then drizzle with a little bit of olive oil on top, pressing it into the meat. Set the steak on a hot grill or a very hot grill pan. It will cook for about two minutes on each side. To mark the steak, first turn them this way, then this way. Then turn again, changing the angle to mark the steak into a diamond pattern. Remember, for the perfect marking, you turn the steak this way, then this way, then this way, and then this way. The perfect cross-hatch pattern. While the steak rests, make the lemon thyme butter by dropping two tablespoons of butter into the bowl of a food processor. Finally, mince fresh thyme leaves and add. Grate the zest of a lemon and add, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice and season with salt and pepper. Process until smooth. You can add a dash of white wine too. Transfer the butter to a dish and chill before serving. Serve the rested steak with a garnish of fresh watercress. And that's it, that's the way I did it. You want to put a bit of butter on top of it here? Oh, with pleasure, chef. Okay. That's good. That R way that never hurt, right? Never hurts. Okay. Is Perfectly cooked. About like that for like you? It's beautiful.